I think the most stressful part of this whole thing is uh, having to wear the, th the same shirt three days in a row. <laughs> I feel awful. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that. At the end of 
last week's episode episode. Uh, at the end of last week I did a bit of talking and uh, just because and, and you guys seem to enjoy that so here I am again. I'm gonna kind of talk through I guess you know the things that I enjoyed about this the kind of tricky trickier uh, you know things that may have given me some growing pains, whatever it may have been. So there's no bass in this song. I tried for a while to, to kind of find a good technique uh, to track bass. So now that I have my beautiful custom guitar here, my PJD uh, Mahogany Telecaster, uh, which is beautiful, the only thing I, I'm undecided about is, are the fret and lays. And they're, they're actually only like uh, vinyl stickers. Um, so I, I could I could rub them off. At the, you know, at the time they seemed like such a good idea and, and in my head there would be like tiny little mahogany, tiny little mahogany circles there kind of actually in, in the neck but that that couldn't happen and, and so they they put um, stickers on which is what I asked for at the time but now looking back I'm just not really into it. Anyway, now that I have that here you know I thought it would be possible to kind of use a plug in to, to drop drop it an octave and, and you know play bass. Um, that really didn't work. I tried a MIDI bass, which is what I did uh, with Windows, and it just didn't fit in. So in order to kind of counteract that, I've I've tracked a kind of chuggy dun 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 double of the guitar line on the electric guitar, and I think that kind of fills that space. Drums are really tough here. Uh, I don't have like a MIDI keyboard, or I mean, I guess I could use the OP1. I didn't think about that at the time. Uh, so I was inputting it on my Mac keyboard, which. It's really hard because I wanted to play like a, well as you could hear, it's like doom, ka 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 It's like a marching uh, band beat. Uh, and to play that, I had to play it on the S key and it was like super small. Um, so that was tough uh, to kind of get that anywhere near correct. So I think a few of those hits are a bit out of time. <laughs> um, that was a real growing pain. And also I've been really ill this week uh, and last weekend um, <laughs> with, with a tickly throat and, and a kind of cough uh, and so I this song for me is it's I push it on the vocal it's quite raw for me um, and that's how I enjoy singing it you know I think that's how this song should be sung um, but I, I was very aware of the fact that I was ill so I could only really have one or two vocal passes at this I have uh, I'm playing Blue Balls Festival uh, on Saturday and I'm playing three one-hour sets in one night it's by myself so I really didn't want to wear out my voice um, you know before that because that's gonna be a real uh, task um, you know a real tricky I just need to be tip-top so I only did one or two vocal passes on this so again there are a few kind of pitchy areas uh, but I didn't want to um, you know tune the vocals so I actually didn't tune the vocals on this song just because it just sounded a bit pants I'm not good enough to do that yet in the pre-choruses there's a BV line that I, I, I basically tracked with the guitar in the end because I just didn't want to wear my voice out you know, don't be ah, 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 with a higher harmony above it and I was just unable to reach it without coughing so I I, uh, I put it in with the um, with the guitar, but that just meant that it can't everything you know in that moment sits in the same kind of band of frequencies. There's acoustic guitar, my vocal, and then like four electric guitar parts, which just all kind of sit, and it becomes quite bright and quite harsh. And so it was tough to really give that its own definition, you know. So that was another growing pain. Also, I use my pedals a lot, but. I wasn't going to put on socks and shoes to kind of film me doing that. I know how weird you guys are with feet. Um, so I didn't want to like, you know, film my toe pressing the thing. Uh, but I did, I use my pedals a lot. I, I love my board, my setup here. Um, and so it really makes that, that guitar sound amazing. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy it. This has been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been hard, but I needed a challenge, you know. This is something that I needed to, to do. I want to get better at, at this kind of thing. So, so yeah, thank you for choosing Sink or Swim. Please vote below on your, the next song you want me to do. Um, also, something I noticed, 75% of you are not subscribed to me on YouTube. Please subscribe, you'd be helping me out. If I hit 100K, I think I get that plaque. 
and I'm like at 94,000. If you enjoy this content and, and you think that your friends will enjoy it, you know, please share it and, and give it that thumbs up and, and subscribe. It would, it would really mean a great deal for me. I really want to start using this platform more. Um, and so it'd be great to kind of have, have that kind of number from go from 75 people who aren't subscribed to, you know, zero percent, hopefully, but that's unrealistic. Anyway, smash that like button. <laughs>